Hey there. So I just wanted to help with this question of turning formaldehyde into propanol. Uh, let me start by just saying that this question would be much easier and more efficient if formaldehyde was not your only carbon source, because all you'd have to do is one Grignard reaction to reach the product from formaldehyde to propanol. You just add this Grignard reagent with two carbons on it. Uh, this is the aprotic solvent. It doesn't actually play a part in the reaction other than stabilizing it. And then you get O minus from adding these uh, two carbons in. You just use water or acid to turn it into uh, an alcohol again. As you see, you have one, two, three, three carbons for propanol. Um, so that's assuming formaldehyde isn't your only carbon source. And the reason I included that is because if you only use formaldehyde as your carbon source, I had to do like seven steps to get propanol. So I don't know, maybe uh, maybe your professor is just challenging you. Uh, I'm not sure, but here is the mechanism I got. Um, since you have a aldehyde here, you can do a Grignard reaction to add more uh, carbons, just like we did for the first one here. It just this time we can only do it one carbon at a time, since you're starting with formaldehyde. Uh, formaldehyde. So I turned this formaldehyde into a Grignard reagent by first reducing it into an alcohol using NaBH4 into an alcohol methanol. From here, PBr3 can change the OH into a bromine. And then you add Mg in between to make CH3-MgBr. And this is your Grignard reagent. What this is going to do now is it's going to add a CH3 group, so one carbon at a time, to whatever other molecule you want. So let's add formaldehyde again. Once again, this is the aprotic solvent. It doesn't play a part. And water to complete the reaction. And now you've added one carbon to the chain here. So now you have a two carbon alcohol, but you want a propanol, which is a three carbon alcohol. So we need to try to do this Grignard reagent again. So I use PCC to turn this back into an aldehyde and just run that Grignard reagent back again. You add another CH3 onto the backbone here to, to now where you get a propan, propanol, but this is two propanol. And since you, did, you just said regular propanol, I'm assuming you want one propanol. So to turn two propanol into one propanol, what I did was I dehydrated this with sulfuric acid and that eliminates this OH via an E1 mechanism uh, to give you the double bond here. And then when you can use hydroboration to change that OH position from the more substituted side to the least substituted side. That's the whole point of hydroboration. And that's how you end up getting a three carbon alcohol, namely one propanol. So I hope that helps and yeah, you're welcome, I guess. <laughs>